guys, it's the next morning. Me and Jeffrey give out. We got in at like 1.30, 2 o'clock maybe? I don't know. So after the burnout contest last night, we cruised on back to Hattiesburg, went to IHOP, got something to eat, and I guess we got home around 1.30. Somewhere around in there, yeah. Sorry about the wind. And yeah, we're all congested and nasally, and between the temperature change and the tire smoke last night, we, we feel rough. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> We look rough. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I do. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I hadn't drove my Celine that much since I bought it because I've been trying to work out some bugs from it sitting up all those years. Um, it's done great yesterday, no issues at all. Uh, I think we put 232 miles on it yesterday. Uh, little 91 GT done great. Me and Newbern throw the drag lights back on it and fix the power steering line. And Blanche, as always, with her beautiful self over there, <laughs> done awesome. And uh, I'm just proud of them because this hadn't been driven since Ponies in the Smokies. Yeah, that's true. So that was back in March. Uh huh. And Blanche hadn't been to a car show when? Since Ponies in the Smokies. <laughs> okay, well then, <laughs> y'all all three done great. Thank y'all. But. Uh, Yesterday was a blast. So, y'all seen Joe's place. Joe has got some stuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Joe, thank you very much. I will be back. You know what? You come over here, and you look at my small amount of stuff, and let's get a plan together. And uh, spill me a motor for my 55 Chevy. But I need the compression ratio to be right for the blower. Streetable, fun, reliable. I see a lot of engine blocks over there. I mean, I got some, but Joe got some engine blocks. Anyway, car show was fun. Did you have fun at car show? I did. I seen a lot of people I hadn't seen in 20, 25, maybe 30 years. So that's where I was born and raised. A lot of fun, a lot of good food, band, car show, burnout contest. I was filming during the burnout contest, so if it's kind of sketchy, it's my fault. It's not my fault that some of the people doing the burnouts were being sketchy. But yeah. That was getting a little... I wasn't filming that because I got scared. <laughs> they were just ridiculous. It was getting a little crazy at the end there. But anyway, so when Newbern come down last Friday, he brought me my frame for my 55 which is going to need a little repair work. <laughs> Every frame I get needs work. So, I see that. What happened right there? I never said they sliced it out for a LS swap because wow. the air condition compressor, a little bit of tent top, the AC compressor was in the way. So, oh, okay, well. Yeah. So, I'm okay. just going to... Uh, Chen, you didn't see that? <laughs> no, we didn't know that. <laughs> and okay. he drove to get it, and we didn't know it. And uh, so, but hey, it's uh, frame rails are good. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> so, between this frame, the frame under my 55, the parts car 55, I will build me a frame. Okay. If I had plenty of money, I'd buy me one of those real sweet chassis, you know, just. Has everything already done, tube and custom, and rack and pinion steer, and four lane, and all that above. But anyway, the rat rod Bob found this 34 Ford on Facebook Marketplace, made a deal with a guy, and it was in Georgia, East Georgia, and Newburn ran over and picked it up for him a couple of weeks ago, or maybe a month ago, I don't know. And he said, hey, since I'm coming down Friday, I'm bringing your frame, and I'm bringing Mr. Bob's next project. So we're gonna back this thing into here, set this top frame off with a lift. Mr. Bob's here. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna back his trailer underneath his frame, set it down, and we'll probably just take the tractor and pick my frame up off here. Mr. Bob. Yes, sir. This is your first time seeing your new toy, huh? Very first time in real life, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about it? Seeing pictures of it. Uh, hey, it's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the doors and all the rest of it's in the back of Newbern's truck. So yeah, he uh, 
he'll be over shortly and we'll get all that unloaded. But well, one thing I can say about David, he knows how to strap stuff down where it won't blow off between here and Georgia. <laughs> Look I, at all the straps. <laughs> yes, I will say this. He is good about strapping. Well, I won't have to never worry about him again because I was kind of worried with this old light car strapped down. And I said, well, I'm sure David knows how to haul stuff. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. I'll never yeah. worry about David again <laughs> pulling off this trailer. <laughs> all right. We're going to figure out how we're going to unload this baby doll. Well, it's going to take us about two hours to undo all the straps, and then we can go from there. <laughs> true. True. <laughs> All right, guys, we got Mr. Bob's 34 strapped down on his trailer. Newburn guaranteed it that it's not going anywhere. It will ride all the way to Bob's house. Yeah, why, you, why you gotta say it like that? <laughs> I mean, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven straps on it. The thing only weighs like 600 pounds. And it had I, I, probably 400 pounds, to be honest with you. It had 22 straps on it when it got here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Look, guys, we had a great weekend with friends and hanging out and doing a bunch of fun stuff. Newburn had a blast as always, my friend. I know where you're headed to. You're headed to spend more money because your friend Joe. He's going to get a junior dragster for Lucas. That's what he's hauling back to Georgia. So, <laughs> Mr. Bob. Yes, sir. As always, it's been a pleasure, my friend. If you need my help, give me a call. I'll come help you. Get this unloaded or whatever you decide to do. Sorry Same about here. that. Hey, if you need me, I'll call you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the uh, wind noise, y'all. It's windy and it's cold here today. It I mean, is like, cold. Not like freezing, but what y'all think it is? 50s? Yeah. So. Perfect. Yeah. It feels good. It does. Next time y'all come back, if y'all cruise around in the 91, it still won't have a heater in it. Just go ahead and let you know. All right. We, we made the local news, though. Oh, yeah. I seen that. With my little, my little Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a text message from our buddy Whitney this morning. He's like, hey, y'all are on the news. And uh, he sent it to, I guess, me and Jennifer. But she, me and Bob was in there, and she was played it and uh, showed all three of us coming around the corner mm -hmm. there. And I was like. Out of all the cars there, it got, there's only like two shots of the cars coming in the car show. Right. That was pretty cool. We got Newbern in a fox body. Hey I guys, know. We got proof. We are rubbing <laughs> off on him. But hey, guys, thank y'all for all the likes, shares, and the comments. We appreciate it. And everybody that uh, talked to us yesterday that's been watching the channel at PDIs, thank y'all. We really appreciate it. We appreciate all the support. And I don't know exactly what we're going to jump on. I got to get the block to the machine shop to Jennifer Chevelle. So while that's being machined, we might tinker on something else. Or we might go pick up something else. We'll wait and see. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great day.